there's no point in going D1, and then they just kind of like put you on the back burner. It's just another player on the roster. Yeah. What's going on, guys? It is Chris Colbank back with another video. I am here with a teammate, plays for Mississippi College. I'm not going to introduce himself. Why don't you introduce yourself, man? Why don't you tell the subscribers what you're all about? All right, guys. My name is Leontay Jones. I play wide receiver here at MC. And obviously, you guys saw the title of this video. Like, how, how do you get recruited? I do not have a lot of experience with that. I'm just going to be totally upfront with you guys. Like, I wasn't a big recruit, like, coming out of high school, but you know who was? This guy, right here. Just going through other people's stories and just, you know, asking people that have been there, because I only have so much experience, so I think he's going to give us, you know, some, some great advice, some insight. If you guys are, like, playing high school and you're wanting to know how to go to the next level, you want to ask guys that had opportunities to go to the next level and are competing at the next level right now. That's the whole point of this video and I'm just, we're just gonna go get straight into it. I, I will say that this isn't really a scripted video. I maybe I got some questions that I, I can maybe pull out, just start asking, but this is gonna be on the fly. If you wanna see some more teammates incorporated in some more of my videos, comment down below, just let me know, like if you wanna see some more teammates. All right, so now that my rant is done, let's, let's go get into it, man. So Leonte, just to let you all know that this guy's legit. I'm going to just show a couple of his highlights right now. It's only right, baby. Yeah. Why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I'm running. Everything you want to do, I already that, You know, Leonte, he, he was a really good athlete. You, I mean, what's your story, man? Like, what high school did you go to? What position you played? Kind of tell tell us all the the uh, all the important stuff, I guess. Well, I actually, I went to a few schools, but my high school career was mainly at Sacks High, where I played pretty much everything. I played. I was an athlete. I played receiver, quarterback, running back, kick return, DB, pretty much anything the coach asked me to do because I just wanted to play at the next level. So you just go out and you play as hard as you can and do what he needs you to do. And hopefully he'll help you out in the long run. I mean, like, how big was your school? I, I went to a 6A, so I think that helped a lot. But how, how big was your school? I went to a 3A. I okay. graduated with 92 in our senior class. 92. Oh, so that, yeah, that, okay. So, so those of you that don't know, it's like, what, like, 1A is the smallest, and then it can go up to, like, 7A in yeah. some states. In Alabama, where I'm from, it goes up to 7A. Um, but, man, I forgot what I was going to say. Let me, let me. See, this is why editing is so good. You, you, you can kind of gather yourself and figure out what you're going to say next. Oh, I, I remember what I was going to say. Alright. All right. What are some like? What are some of the schools that that uh, that were either looking at you or gave you an offer? Like, can you like list your top three or something? Well, I had interest from University of Northern Alabama, which is a D1. It's like an FCS school. I had Louisiana Raging Cajuns, which is an FBS school. Pretty sure a lot of people know about those. And then I had Mississippi College. I had Jacksonville State University, which is an FCS. I mean, other than that, it was like other smaller schools, smaller D1s. I had a few D3s. I had mainly D2s, though, around this conference. But I just felt like I wanted to go somewhere where I could get a chance to show what I could do and get a chance to actually play. A lot of people think it's all about going D1, but there's no point in going D1, and then they just kind of like put you on the back burner. It's just another player on the roster. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, you want to go where you're wanted, you know? Exactly. It's like, I think that's so, yeah, that, that's definitely a good point. But you went to a 3A school, so, like, I, I'm curious, like, how did you get discovered, like, going to a smaller school? Because I know that's a big thing. And on, like, you know, a lot of people talk about it, like, oh, I went to a small school, so I got overlooked. How did you overcome that? Well, honestly, it all started the summer coming into my senior year. I went to about three or four camps. I went to Alabama State, University of Alabama at Birmingham, UAB, JSU, and then I went to a smaller school. I don't know if a lot of people know about it. It's called Faulkner. I went there and I worked out with those guys. And that's kind of that kind of like started to boost my recruiting process because coming into like that season, I had no offers. So once I went to those camps, I kind of got my name out there a little. And then what really helped me was Twitter. Like I got on Twitter and I started like just, I got in every coach's inbox. like. It doesn't matter if they were D3, D1, D2. I just sent films to everybody. And I was trying my best like to get them to respond. And I actually got 
The funny thing is, I actually MC the receiver coach here. Once I sent him my film, he blocked me. So I, I was kind of discouraged. What? I was like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> crazy. I'm actually still blocked on Twitter now, which is very oh, funny. Wow. But I just kind of use social media as like a leapfrog, you know. So would you say like a like one of those points could be like using social media to like get your name out there? Definitely, definitely using social media. Stuff what else we're filming a YouTube video. And this isn't in any like le um, level of importance, but number one, I would say getting a Twitter so you can communicate with the coaches is really important because that actually helped me because that's how the M the Mississippi College football coaches came in contact with me through Twitter. Um, and that's normally how they how they do that. So if you want to get involved in what other coaches are doing and how they're recruiting and going to camps and stuff, well, yeah, you, sh you should definitely get a Twitter. And a question I have, because for me, when I was getting recruited, when I wanted to get recruited, I took the initiative and I have to tell my coaches like, hey, I want to play at the next level, what do I do? Did you find yourself having to take the initiative? And this will lead into our next point. Um, did you find yourself having to take like the initiative a lot of the time? You know, either like reaching out to the coaches saying, hey, can you reach out to this school or what asking a lot of questions or did schools just kind of discover you and everything kind of worked out for itself? In honesty, my coach wanted to help me, but due to like past players we had, like they, they go to college and he'd help them get recruited and they drop out or he kind of got like a bad rep. So it was very hard for him to help me, but he helped me in like as much as he could. He kind of sent my film out to like JUCOs and stuff like that. But as far as like the four year universities, I had kind of took the initiative and just sent everything out myself. And that was pretty much all he could help me with. He couldn't really do anything else for me. The rest was all on me. I had to go on the field and do my job and play to my best ability. And yeah. the coaches would come. Just asking this question straight up is, is probably the most valuable. If, if there was an aspiring athlete who wanted to play D1 football, you know, like, what, what would you tell them? Like, what's the most important thing? Focus on your grades. And you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta have confidence. You can't give up. Cause like, there's gonna be times where you feel like nothing's coming your way. There's no offers, there's no coaches calling, there's no mail. You're not getting any looks, but you can't give up. You gotta keep working, man. You gotta keep going because the time you feel like you're about to give up, that's when God shows you like, he's there for you. Cause I, I know I was down a few times. Like, just imagine being a six three athlete. You're two hundred pounds, but you have no offers. You know, it's kind of like, what am I doing wrong? And you just felt like it wasn't destined for you to play football anymore. But as soon as you get down on yourself, God shows you exactly why He's in your corner. He, he sends that letter, or yeah. He sends that coach on tips to you to talk to you. You just gotta keep believing in God and keep striving, man. Yeah. Anything's possible as long as you believe in God. And I feel like the biggest thing is having faith and keeping your grades up. Because your grades go a long way also. Like, they help you in the long run, especially your ACT score. A lot of schools want you to have a higher ACT score because maybe they can't offer you that much money athletically, but academically they can give you something, which will help you out a lot. So just never give up. Always believe in yourself and focus on your schoolwork. Amen. I, I mean, I couldn't have said it any better myself. I appreciate you coming out, bro. That was no that was awesome. You know, I I really guys just just to let you know, I do enjoy bringing like people into my videos. I, like I want to have a community, right, with you guys and with the school. But guys, if you appreciate learning how to be a better student athlete, learning from you know student athletes like Leontay and I, you know, consider smashing the like button. Helps me out. I, I would, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm gonna wrap up this video, Spiritually Fit Nation. Stay tuned for my next video, guys. Just keep on grinding. Don't, I mean, don't give up. You know, if you want a dream, go out and get it. I mean, sometimes you just gotta get out of your comfort zone. You gotta be willing to do things that people aren't willing to do. So I hope what we shared today gives you a better idea of how to get recruited by these top schools and just how to get recruited in general, whatever sport you play. Guys, I'm gonna end the video there. That's a wrap. Leonte, you're a beast. I will see you in my next video. Peace out. See you guys. Awesome, bro. That was dope.